Hi guys, in this video you will learn about MAC address, an IP address, and how to change it, as we saw in previous lecture about IP address. So today, you will learn how to change MAC address. First, understand the difference between MAC address and IP address, then we can move on to change the MAC address. I assume you a beginner to learn cybersecurity, that's why we add some theory for better understanding. Okay, let's come to the topic. Every computer or device on the internet has two types of addresses, a physical address and an internet address. The physical address, or media access control address, identifies a device to other devices on the same local network. And the internet address, or IP address, identifies the device globally. A network packet needs both addresses to get to its destination. Here are some of the difference between MAC and IP addresses. I can't describe it all individually, the video might be lengthy so you can watch it later. In short, media access control refers to the piece of hardware that controls how data is pushed out onto a network. No two devices on a local network should ever have the same MAC address. If that does happen, both devices have communication problems because the local network gets confused about which device should receive the packet. Let's go to the Kali Linux. Open a terminal. Let's view the various aspects of network interfaces. If config, we already saw this command before. Ethernet interface. This is virtual interface, which is not real. We set this to NAT network, so this number give us by virtual box. And LO, created by Linux. Let's change our MAC address. Type, if config, then Ethernet interface name, which is Ethernet0. First down this connection. Oh, sorry, not root user. That's why. It need admin permission. Our connection is down. It's time to change our MAC address. In this address we going to making some little change. Do not change to whole address. This can give you error. Here, we will make some little change. I hope it will change the MAC address. No error, it mean MAC address has been changed. Let's compare the MAC address. This is our old address. Our connection, still down. Let's activate this. Okay, let's check our new address. This was our old MAC address. And this is our new MAC address. Remember, after changing the MAC address, you should verify the change with the ifconfig command to see if it has been updated correctly. Now, we successfully change our virtual MAC address. We can also change our real MAC address for anonymity purpose. Enough for today. See you guys in the next video.